I'm really excited to talk with you today. Thank you. Thank so, you what me. inspired you to choose the University of South Carolina? So, ever since a kid, I've always been a, a Gamecock fan, and that kind of, you know, so the seed of my inspiration to go there. I also, to the programs that they have to offer. So, I come from a family of software engineers, right? You know, when I, when I went to South Carolina, I wanted to do software engineering. More specifically, I wanted to get into the I school, so the information science school. And then I wanted to ma minor in data science and then concentrate in data analytics. So the programs that they offer surrounding that and also the scholarships that are tailored to that is the reason why I went there. Okay. So this is kind of a follow-up, but why did you end up choosing the information science program specifically? Again, my family, software engineers, I'm just, I wanted to be another software engineer. Wanted to go into data analytics, you know, I found things revolving around that very enticing and that's why I wanted to go. So why is um, an information science versus a computer science or an engineering program that could have done the same thing? Yeah, so computer science, I wanted to focus again more on like the programming aspect like Python and then data analytics within Python. So, you know, and I know that the information science school and the data science school really brought that together. I had an issue with like conveying a message to a crowd and like, you know, telling a good story before I got into college. And the information science school really brought that out of me. Every Wednesday in one of my classes, I had to go in and present. The iSchool really helped me convey a good message. So can you tell me about your current role, where you work, and what you like most about your job? After I attended Secure Academy with the University of South Carolina, I learned about Checkpoint and I, when I graduated, I was like, oh yeah, Checkpoint's fantastic. I would love to work with them, be a part of that. So then I applied for a sales job. And I found out that I enjoy talking to people more than I do programming and things like that. So that's why I went into more sales. And then I became a part of uh, the Global Associates program with 16 people that are you know, spread out all over the United States, Canada, pretty spread out and then more specifically I do SDR sales I'm a sales development representative for SLED uh, Southeast so state local education I work with schooling and government entities what skills did you learn in the BSIS program that you currently apply in your job I would say the most important thing that I learned throughout the program was the ability to again tell a good story and to network as well and leverage those uh, connections through my networking. Um, again, telling a good story, like presenting every single Wednesday, presenting to the class, uh, all that. What was your favorite class? My, well, cybersecurity <laughs> class, <laughs> of course, of course. That uh, gave me the opportunity to meet a lot of the Checkpoint guys and you know understand the culture behind Checkpoint understand the ins and outs of cybersecurity and it really like planted the cybersecurity seed within me that's now like flourished to what it is today. Do you have any study strategies or advice that you could share with current or future students? In order to succeed you have to have a good work ethic. You have to be organized, you have to um, set objectives, set goals, and have an endpoint. What's your favorite memory from your time at the University of South Carolina? So my favorite memory aside from classes and things like that, would definitely be the culture that South Carolina creates surrounding football and tailgating. Just tailgating before a game is a phenomenal thing that South Carolina has curated. You know, that was definitely my favorite memory. <laughs> Again, highly recommend that you take the cybersecurity program under University of South Carolina. The program is phenomenal. Again, it really shed light on the culture that Checkpoint has to offer. And I think culture is very important. They believe that age doesn't equal stature. You know, you, if you have the set skills, it doesn't matter what age you are. You can achieve anything. So that's what I want to do. Okay, thank you.